Hello. Hello, Jazz. How are you? I'm good. How are you? It's good. It's good. We're back in paradise again. We are. Oh, how would you like that? Sort of thank you, Mark Luton, for an aerial video for Douglas Kite Sailing. Do you like kite sailing? Do you like all that sort oh, of stuff? Oh, it's just gorgeous. And isn't the that's weather great. just so oh, beautiful right now? It's paradise. That's, oh, that's what I think. Huh. That's our thing. We're going to go run with paradise tonight. What do you think? Okay, that sounds pretty good and to me. And speaking of... Complain. And I know you like your moonscapes, Jazz. Yeah? And look oh, at this. Oh, the red moon. Compliments. Was this last week or the week before? Oh, I'm not too sure. But compliments of Loch, Lachlan Terry and uh, Lachlan and I used to sit on Bluesy Tuesday Radio together at the midnight hours and underneath the moons and uh, we were having a chat in the weekend and uh. thanks Lockie for setting the scenery because we've got uh, a beautiful moonscape here in the tropics. How's that? Oh, we certainly do. I see some great really moons over the strand at the right oh. time of year. Checked out the lunar eclipse the other night. Yes, yeah. yes. The saw the dark after. side. Yeah, yeah, saw yeah. Saw the dark side. Over yeah, we'll have to get that Hill Steve there. Murray in uh, something like that to play some <laughs> sort of Floydish <laughs> music sometimes. That but uh, yeah, <laughs> hello to all the crew. Thanks to Lawrence yes. over here. And speaking of Steve Murray, he's on the <laughs> camera right over here. It's Thanks, really good. Steve. Thanks for the chance coming in. <laughs> and everybody else too. Welcome and hello out there in the world. Well, wherever oh. you are, yeah, it's really sort of good. What are we going to have tonight? We, we got, we're going to run around with some car rallies. Yeah. We're going to go for a bit of a drive around the place. And thanks to Vern. Vern's coming in and apparently classic cars. And he's going to—he's driven in his classic car. So we're going to have a sort of bit of visual of that, a bit that of a chat with Vern. Sugar Lou's coming in to play some tunes. Mark Hillman's coming in to talk about his playing for Change Project. Oh, great. Uh, hopefully Crossroads are going to come rocking in. Bit of roundup from the Purpley Kids. got a... World premiere. I just found out they've been working their uh, backside off. Ah. <laughs> and Lawrence just told me before we got a world premiere from the Purpley Kids way down there in Melbourne. They were here in Space Building in Townsville. Oh, what else is there? Oh, there's Gas. Got some great Barrier Reef stuff. Oh, we got we got, got heaps of now. We got it, possums. Tonight. We even got possums, you know. <laughs> so that'll be really sort of good. But um, let's just keep on running and keep on rolling. Let's go for a drive, Jess. Let's, let's just jump go. in a bit of a car rally. I'm over it. Let's I go. don't know where we're going. <laughs> Who knows where you go in Spaceville? Welcome to Spaceville. Welcome to the trip. Let's Hi, go Debbie. tripping. Go on, uh, let's go. <laughs> Lance Melrose from South Townsville. Car rallying through forest on dirt roads. Yeah. And that's hard sometimes because the um, it's either too dry, too wet, and the forest here doesn't let you in there. <laughs> uh, this is the rally car. It's a Mark I four-door Escort with a two-litre motor in it. It goes really well. It's halfway through being put back together. I do it all myself. I probably won't paint it myself. <laughs> I won't tell you what happened about that one day. <laughs> well, I started. I, okay, I'll tell you. I started. <laughs> I got a spray gun and the paint and stuff, and I started spraying. And do you think I could spray paint? So. I threw, threw the spray paint can, so my wife won't let me get another one. <laughs> so what's the, what's the best you've ever come in a, in a rally? Uh, probably second in class. What's the worst? Didn't finish. <laughs> it's just a challenge to finish a rally. We've had a couple of um, times come off the road which isn't a good thing to do. Um, we, the first one was probably five years ago and we went too fast around the last corner on a finish line and we flipped two or three times down the bank and I ended up in hospital with crushed vertebrae. So Deb was okay. So we rebuilt the car after that one. Then we added probably three more years of racing and then we had another crash. And this one's being rebuilt now. Well, after the first rollover, which was at um, Cal Power State Forest by, down by Monto, we went 
down the cliff a bit, um, and that was interesting. Um, we went back, we rebuilt that year, didn't we? We went back to that same event 12 months later to kill some demons, and we walked up and had a look at the track where we'd rolled, which was right on the apex of the corner, and we, didn't, we made it around the corner and got a time, we finished, finished the race, finished that stage, but we didn't go any further. We went down the cliff. Yeah, but we went back, didn't we? Yeah. And killed some demons on the head and then did the race again and finished it. So that was good. I've always been interested in car rallying from a, as a kid. And then I used to crew for one of the top guys in New Zealand in, when I was probably 19 to 24 and I always wanted to do it. And then oh, 12 years ago, I was working too much and I decided to get into something different. So I went and bought a car one morning. Well, he <laughs> rang me and he said, this is like half past six in the morning on a Wednesday. He said, oh, I've just bought an Escort. <laughs> Cost me $1,300. I've just bought an Escort. I'm gonna make it into a rally car. So I thought, oh, lovely, good. Um, Deb does the navigating for me. What does that mean? That means that she sits in the passenger seat, tells you when the next corner's coming, how far it is, so you can leave your braking and whatever to the last minute to go left or right, or if there's a, um, a bad dip in the road, it's always marked on your notes, so you know to slow down at X which makes it a lot safer for people. I navigate in rallies and rally sprints and I, I do carna cross and motor carna stuff as well. There's not many ladies, it's a real male thing. Probably only five that I know of. Would you recommend it to ladies get involved? Yeah, it's good. You know, there's one girl up in the tablelands and she probably beats every man up there. So yeah. up at the Far North Queensland where we race, um, often I'll come first because I'm the only lady, but I don't tell people that. I say, I came first, woo! <laughs> See, I get this. <laughs> and I might not be on the only lady, but I get a trophy. <laughs> There's more up there too of me and my trophies that I get. What happens if the car stays in the car? Except when I'm busy, we're screaming down a straight and I'm busy going, you know, 90 metres you've got, or 100 metres you've got a 90 degree right and he's setting himself up to go right and there's bunting there and you go, I think you'll find it's left. So, <laughs> or, or the other way, he'll be, I can see, I'm busy saying we'll be turning left in, you know, 200 metres and he starts setting the car up to go right and I'm going left in 100 metres and 50 metres left and he's still setting the car up to go right and he go, oh, left, after he's been... <laughs> not listening to me. <laughs> and it happens quickly too. Yeah, you're going quite fast. By the time I've said 500 metres, you've got a whatever's happening in 500 metres, I have to go 400, 300, 200, 100, and off you go. It's happened because you're going quite fast. It is fun. You yeah, know, guys get out the of the weekend. car. Yeah, guys get out of the car and you're shaking because the adrenaline's pumping. And they sort of say things like, how can anything this much fun be legal? <laughs> That's what Stumpy, he says that, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah. And it, how can it be legal because it's so much fun and it's exciting and exhilarating and all that sort of stuff just because you're screaming through the forest at a million miles an hour. Might not be a million miles an hour, but it feels like it. <laughs> welcome back to Spaceville, welcome back to sort of cars and welcome to Vern who's coming to talk all about classic cars and camp quality. Good evening Vern, welcome to Spaceville, how do you feel? Yeah, really good Mark, thanks for inviting me along tonight. Ah, it's, it's really, really good to sort of good, show. yeah that's really good. No, we were just having a bit of a chat there before. Hey Jazz, classic cars, you know, like how far to Vern, where do they, how, what defines a classic car? What is it? What, what's a classic car? It pretty much goes from, uh, I guess, the early 50s through, through to the mid-70s. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's a car that's, uh, that my era grew up with. 
And mine. And yours. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh-huh. Younger than you, though. I yeah. remember my parents, when I was a baby, had a car very similar to this, the Hornet, we used to call it, this orange car <laughs> that we've got in the background. Yep. Where are you here? That, that's near Castle Hill, yeah. Is, is yeah, I took yeah. that photo looking back over. That's Reed Park, uh, looking back uh, towards Castle Hill. And what's that kind of car? I don't know much about cars, so... This one's an American car, fully oh, imported. Okay. Uh, okay. It was uh, a showroom floor car in California in 1973. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, it's... Uh, uh, it's now a, um, a, a an American classic, I suppose. It's nice. There it is in the live. That's just parked outside. There's the Eagle Eagle Cam, and that's just parked here, just near the Courthouse Theatre. Uh-huh, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, they've got the they've got the camera on your car, Vern. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Mark. Uh, it's in its day, it was a bit of a performance car, but in this day and age, it's pretty slow by uh, by modern standards. But it's uh, a nice old car to drive. It's stock standard. Um, yeah. The engine has never been out of it. It's done about 83,000 miles. Wow. Ah, and miles. You're talking in miles instead of kilometres these <laughs> days. Yeah. I understand yeah. miles. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's what's on the speedo, so that's what I quote. Uh, and it's uh. got everything that was in the car uh, on the showroom floor. The air conditioning is original. The, um, the radio is not original. The oh. radio's been upgraded and it's got yeah. one, extra, one extra gauge, a, a tachometer to keep an eye on that's the That's okay. Radio technology's moved along, I suppose. So that's, that's a, but that's what I used to do. I learned to dr- let you know, my father had a Morris ZU with a cloth top and the wooden tray yep. and it was parked under the house and that's how I learned to drive. I went nowhere for about three years when I was a kid and then eventually he eventually got me to uh, an E.H. Holden and then, oh, well, less went on. But we've got to keep on rolling. Camp Quality Kids, quickly, what's going on with all that? On, on Sunday, there's a really big run. The, uh, all of the local truck drivers and the local motorcyclists are getting together. Whereabouts and, is that? Uh, I, they're doing it from Web Drive, or they okay. did last year. I've got to double check, but okay. uh, I'm pretty sure they're doing it from Web Drive again. Okay. And they go on a bit of a run. Uh, so uh, turn up there mid-morning. It'll be advertised in, in the papers. Wonderful. Have a look later in the week. And, uh, uh, yeah, join in. It's Excellent. not that expensive, and it's a yeah. really good cause. Yeah, great, it is, great. It is. You got some photographs there, Burn? Yeah, it's some show photos. Us, of, uh, yeah, show us all that. I'm rebuilding the, the white car. Uh, okay. Out of the way. No, that's okay. I'm rebuilding the white car on the bottom at the moment. Uh, the uh, the engine that was in it there has been uh, pulled out and sold off. Okay. Uh, the gearbox is out and it's away getting reconditioned. Ah. I've had a motor built, a much bigger V8 motor, uh-huh. a, a pretty fancy one. And um, the car's been resprayed. And the inside has been pretty much stripped out. I've still got the steering column out. The front seats haven't been put back in yet. In fact, I've got new front seats uh, that I've taken out of a Holden Astra convertible wow. to, uh, to put in. Looks pretty so, flush. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's an Australian car, uh, and, it, and it certainly wasn't on the showroom floor. It was a bottom-of-the-range model. And right. by the time I'm finished with it, well, it'll be something a little bit different. That's a good passion you've got going mm. on there anyway, hey. The cheers, yeah. cheers for keeping. Oh, we found we found the details for the for the camp quality yeah, convoy. There it is is yep, it? Yep. Nineteen this Sunday. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not sure of the time. Uh, it doesn't say what time on there. So, oh, okay. Uh, that's something that people would have to chase up for themselves. Fair enough. It would be a daytime thing, though. Hey? Oh, definitely. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it takes a couple of hours. It's a fairly long convoy through the city that uh, they end up. I think they finish at Reed Park. Great thing so. for the family and all everybody of all ages. Yeah, and I think yeah. a lot of young people really enjoy watching the big prime movers drive around. Oh, as they well, do, yeah. especially the little kids, and that they get really excited, don't they? So, yeah. excellent. Yeah. That sounds great. great. We'll uh-huh. have to get it. We'll have to get a spin around the Strand with you sometime because I know the Strand has always been over the history of Townsville. It's like the place where you take your car, you go for a drive on the car on the Strand, and I know there's a lot of car enthusiasts that do it. And uh, George Uren, if you're listening, you know about that because he's involved in all that sort of thing with driving cars, classic cars around town. So fantastic. There's actually a cruise on nearly every Friday night. Uh, ah. On the last Friday of the month, we meet over at uh, Annandale Hungry Jack's uh, Kentucky Fried, and people can either have a meal or some of them bring their own meal along for mm. pretty good reason. Um, and uh, we, we hang around there for an hour or so, and then we jump in our cars and we, we go for a bit of a cruise, Excellent. normally down Palmer Street. Down, um, down Flinders Street East, and then a lap along the Strand. I'm yeah. sure I've seen you all cruising around and sort of <laughs> yeah. have been having a bit of a perv on all the cars there. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, what a great way to spend your well, time. Well, thanks for your time, Vern, <laughs> for, um, for driving your car in and showing us what it was like and for all that sort of thing, and also for being uh, part of Townsville's community and, and sort of supporting camp quality with this sort of car, car um 
what would you call it? Expo? Yeah, car expo. Convoy, uh, was yeah. it? Car bikes convoy? And, it's actually bikes and trucks. The cars bikes aren't and trucks. Oh, well, that's everything right. everything's on wheels. Yeah, yeah that's really good. <laughs> hey, we've got to get out of here. Um, Magnetic Island. You know Magnetic Island. I do. There's some great stuff in nature and everything else, and we like a lot of nature. This one's all about possums. It was all brought to us oh. by Magnetic TV. There's a Magnetic Island TV we found. And a hello to all those people over in Magnetic Island who watch in. And um, here's a little bit about possums on Magnetic Island. Thanks for your time, Bert. Thank Thanks you, for Bert. coming in. Thanks Let's just much. keep really on rolling. It. Take it away, Lawrence. Thanks a lot. I love holding their little tails, wrap around your finger. It's just, I don't know how anyone couldn't like a possum. I hate possums. This is the story of my chili plant and the possum. Here on in known as the little bastard possum. He ate my chili plant, started with the chilies, followed by the flowers, followed by the leaves until there was nothing left but sticks. I then made a cage to put over my chili plant one night I forgot, the possum came back, ate the leaves. Once the plant recovered, the aphids got the plant. We got the plant back to normal. The possum came back, ate the plant, ate the chilies, ate the leaves. This possum is now dead. It was nothing to do with me. We called in the CSI forensics team and it was natural causes. My chili plant is now surviving. my cat substitute because on Magnetic Island it's really uncool to have a cat like the curlew's nest on the ground the wildlife are pretty precious around here so I've given up wanting a cat and decided that possums are my next substitute they visit they watch TV with me they watch me play poker those are real Wildlife friendly house this one, but I keep them out. I don't want them in my house. I used to try and get them out of the place, but what I realised was that the, they actually are pretty smart. Uh, I've got one little fella in particular, he was that big a couple of months ago. I've been trying to train that little fella, but I don't think he's going to do it. He's got to the stage now, he's got a mind of his own, he's a wild critter. and. Um, he, I can get a hold of him, but he wants to fight and get away. Gotta make a bit of start around the other thing. Come on. It's alright, mate. He's one of our little family. Apart from that, I learn to live with them, I think, more than them with me. A lot of people don't like possums. I definitely do. Hi guys, we're back. Whoops, <laughs> we went go. We went there. Yeah, we went sort of travelling around there with cars or whatever. And in the meantime, Sugar Lou just sort of jumped in, and we could we've just been chatting here for a while, having a great old chat. Welcome, Sugar Lou. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Marco yeah, and Jess. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks oh, for thank coming. Thank you for coming <laughs> in. Thank you for coming in. You're going to play us a tune for a while. 
sort of how did music start for you where where did it all where was the electricity what what happened for you well how did you how'd you get into this um i only really started doing music when i was about 30 and it's taught myself the guitar really? yeah mm-hmm. and um, i think i'd always wanted to sing but uh-huh. never had um the foundations to sing until yeah. i started doing all like getting into it myself and having awesome. the time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so you've been writing a bit lately with your friend on Skype. Were you telling me about it? Yeah. So um, my friend, long-term friend from the Sunshine Coast, who yeah. always wanted to do stuff with me, uh, wanted to get me back into writing music and playing music because I'd given up for about seven years. Mm-hmm. And he, well, being so far away, he said, let's just do it by Skype. And this year we kind of wrote a few songs together, reworked some of my old ones he wrote some new ones and right. yeah it's been fun and you're working on doing maybe some recording soon in the near future we have s- recorded and it's getting mastered at the moment Wonderful. and we're just doing all artwork and stuff oh so we look forward to seeing and hearing in a video oh i don't know about the video but <laughs> well yeah. you don't have to be like me i'm not going to go in a video we'll just have artwork on we'll just have an things. ant like crawling across Leo, the Leo, we need a video for sugar Lou. yeah that'd be a really good nah it just all goes together it really sort of happens like that. And there's some sort oh, of photographs there. Yeah, someone's oh, been look stalking at me on Facebook, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's all these people? Come on, Sugar Lou, Oh, look, us. there's Lawrence. He yeah. had to put a photo with him on it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put any more. There's some really... <laughs> oh, him. No. Oh, okay. He's a bit of an interview He's to one Sugar of my Lou. Fans. Yeah, okay. Hey, this is getting dangerous, Jazz. Some of our yeah, stuff's going to come up here. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, it's like the real interview or That's something. Not very I nice. suppose we put it on Facebook and it's anybody, so, it is, you know, yeah. we're getting surprised. It must be true. Oh, there's Steve. That's who I play with. Oh, okay. That's your yeah. From the North Coast. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Steve, if, if you're awesome. down the Sunshine Coast, yeah, yeah. good day. <laughs> and that's the um, Angela 1975 recording desk that was at the studio where okay. we um, recorded at 11 p.m. studios on the Sunshine Coast. Wow. What part of the Sunshine Concrete. Coast? Sunshine. It was in Nambour, in oh, the yeah. old fire, oh. um, no, fire ambulance brigade? building. For ambulance building. Yeah. yeah. And so oh, the okay. guy that um, did our recording, he's opening a bar and wants us to come, or wants me to come down and we'll do something down there to kick it off. That'll yeah. be a great experience. Great. That great. sounds excellent. Yeah, it'll be well, fun. So you're going to sing us a song today. I am. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that uh-huh. before you go? So tonight I'm going to sing Unreal. Unreal's um. one of the first songs I wrote. And uh, it was actually written about having great friends, mm-hmm. um, having, you know, just your friends that are there for you when when everything happens. So it's the most important it's, thing um, sometimes. Yeah, it's, a, it? it's, a, it's just... Um, People really relate to it because, you know, we yeah. all need good friends. We do. So <laughs> that we That's do. what we're all here for. <laughs> cool. Cool. So would you Thank like you. to play that? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sugar Lou for you on Space Bell. <laughs>
Um, are you going to be playing anywhere around town in the near future that uh, you know Not of? at the moment, but yeah, okay. hopefully soon. We might catch you around about it. Uh, You'll like see me at some open mic somewhere. Or <laughs> yeah, okay. open mic. Can't wait for that. That was just really nice. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jazz. <laughs> thanks, Marco. Yeah, thanks, Sugarloo. Um, thank you. Yeah, said it all. I didn't have to say a thing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Wonderful song. Oh, we're just going to keep on rolling on. Off in uh, dreamland now. <laughs> yeah, I just thanks, Sugar. Just we all went back out in my trance land, went astral traveling again. So <laughs> let's just keep on rolling on. And uh, thanks to Aaron Ashley for giving us a little bit of a video peek into Bohemian the m Masquerade. Yeah, the party was in town a couple of weeks ago. So a uh, little bit of snippet of what, what went on. So here's a bit of a roundup. Take it away, Lawrence. Silly rabbit, one of these days I'm gonna lift up my feet Then I'm not gonna come back And I come back And I come back now Looking for big hands Big hands Big hands To walk
Well, what a rush of sound. Yeah. <laughs> we were Wooshka. Next thing you know, we're back here. What happened with the space car? Must hit the retro rockets or something like that. And Wooshka all of a sudden is sort of straight in. Sort of rolling along. Welcome, Mark Hillman. How are you, Mark? Hey, Mark. Good, thanks. Yeah, guys, good to see you, mate. Thanks. Yeah, we were talking to Vern before about cars. And it took me back in time. My old man used to have a Hillman station wagon. <laughs> now I know our connection. Mark oh, Hillman, yeah. Hillman station wagon. You know I, I used to go r r ride around and I never got to drive it. <laughs> but there you go. That's how all the things work out. My mum had a Hillman Minx when I was growing up. So yeah, Hillman anyway, Minx. So you know what? No oh. seatbelts in the back. Most dangerous car ever. Uh, but it was cool. I only, I only opened the back door while we were driving once. A couple, couple of degrees <laughs> of separation. We just found out also we've all been in Ukai, you know, so we, we find out, <laughs> we're finding all these things out about ourselves. Mark, what, what brings you in? Playing for Change, sort of project, got a video project and new music. Yeah, Can we've been tell uh, us about sort of having a few chats and some ideas about getting some music out there just to sort of help bring some awareness back to the people about what's going on around the place and, uh -huh. you know, um, we sort of had a bit of a chat and brought the idea together and yeah. picked a bit of a song that we think might be a, a, a subtle hint, but a hint nonetheless. So okay. Mm. Okay. And it's, and it's about, see this one here, the voice? We've all got one. We need to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Mark. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Talk with you again Cause the vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping I might reach you But 
my words Like silent raindrops fell Echoed in the wells of silence And the people bowed and prayed To the neon god they made Sign flushed out its warning. The words it was for me. Sound said the words the prophets have written on the subway walls and tenement homes. Whispered in the sound. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Mark. I mean, this must be your third or fourth time in here now, hey? So I think so, yeah. You're becoming a bit of a regular. It's always great yeah. to see you. I enjoy it. Thanks for having me. Oh, great. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Mark, are you going to get uh, Mayor involved at the Peace House in Cairns? Absolutely. Yeah, she's yeah. done your video before. So mm -hmm. we're going to try and get a lot of people on that one song all up and down the North Coast. That's oh. the plan from as far north as Cape York to wherever we can get and get a video done in every town and join all the musicians and all the artists and put it all together and bring a community together and uh, oh. thanks for Mark, he's going to start it out we had this project in our mind many years ago oh. good on you for doing that mate and it's and great to sort of think any Stick gigs around. or anything before you before we go? Um, yes actually, uh, I've been playing at the Hotel Allen recently okay, so, just uh, up First of October for Halloween and on Halloween. Melbourne Cup Day as well. So Melbourne Cup yeah, so and come Halloween. On down. Okay. And then uh, cool. projection, this might change a little bit, but 20th of December is going to be my 30th and uh, probably my EP launch. So okay, um, awesome. not sure yeah. where yet, but we'll, we'll line that up. Tune in. You know. We'll tune in for all cool. of that. Thanks cool. so much. Thanks, yeah, that'll be Excellent. great. Excellent. Stick right. around, mate. We're going to have a world premiere first. The Purply Kids, as you said, have got a world premiere coming up. And they've been working away, and it's going to come up after this. But before we do that, we're going to go with Nikolai from Make a Faker, and he's recorded one at Sam, you bit Sam Wright's place, mm -hmm. Sam Wright's at Rec Room, and uh, he's performed at the Courthouse Theatre. So here's a little bit of that, and then following straight in, world premiere of the Purpley Kids live on Spaceville to the World. Take it away. See you guys. Thank you. Why do you cry, my dear? How in the hell do we end up here? Is I, all your love, have disappeared? Is it over now? You said you're just gonna love me anymore. Said I was not the same that I was before And you said Don't you dare Come knocking on my door Cause it's over now Why don't you love me On a day like this Who's your man gonna be Says. Why don't you love me on a day like this? And she said, Some fine love. That's just the way it is. I can't survive all alone. And empty bottles and much of a friend. Can make love on my own. You have to come back in the end. Why don't you love me on a day like this? Who's your man gonna be if he exists? Why don't you love me on a day like this? Jesus, some fine. 
see them make you satisfied No matter what I did or how hard I tried There's a lie, it's a lie and a boy didn't lie But I will love her till I die I'll love her till I die Figure out and understand now. What can he do that I can now? It can be over now. And don't you love me on a day like this? Who's your man gonna be if he ain't I'm 
Well, uh, and we're with friends. Well, look at we've been invaded. Look out, the crossroads are right here with us. You know, hey, how are you, crossroads? Say hello to everybody out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And we've got a huge album launch coming up soon. Yes. Could you tell us about that, please? Oh, so we recorded an album. It's called an album, <laughs> and um, we recorded it in the last eleven months. Mm -hmm. um, we started with the drums at the rec room mm -hmm. in November 2013 mm -hmm. and then wow. we took the drums into Luke Green Studio, um, Green Studios at Luke Green. Mm -hmm. I say it again, Luke Green, awesome name. <laughs> <laughs> Green's Luke a good Green. color. Luke Green. My favorite color. Hey, <laughs> Green, Green's allowable. <laughs> yeah, so now it's ready. We got the first tested print copy yesterday. Oh, Yay. yeah. I saw, yeah. The, I saw the news late last night alone, oh. right, yeah? I thought I'll save to say. You were well done. in the middle of the night that you were playing the keys there, Marco, weren't you? <laughs> but that's besides the story. Uh -huh. So, yeah, Saturday, 25th of um, October, we have um, the album launch, supported by um, Legends and a band that I always looked up to, Bandawala Moons. I've heard they're awesome. Oh Reggae, my God. Yeah. Good <laughs> move. Bring your dancing shoes. Yeah, oh, we'll be there, yeah, we'll so definitely. Yeah, and it's we'll so special in. because Sammy, she moved, the bass player, she moved up to, which is cool, Sammy the bass player, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she moved up to Cairns and Zuzu the front man, he went traveling. So they haven't been playing for like a year or more. Oh. And you know, now they're all getting together and they're just super keen to play. Big reunion. Yeah. That'll be so fun. And that's at the old courthouse, isn't it? Yes. And yeah. Rion City um, with Garth and... Um, awesome. They played a really awesome set at the Cultural Fest mm -hmm. and I haven't played since. I collaborated with Garth when I was in Europe. Um, we did two, mm. three tracks together, so I'm going to be hopping on stage oh, with him. Oh, great. Oh, I it's going to be mad. <laughs> That's excellent. And I, you're going to have all your merchandise and everything. I've, yeah, I've no got the invite on Facebook. So, yeah, everyone's going to come along and buy an album and yes, support <laughs> it's been a long guys. time. It's been a long time. The last time we got together, Jazz, Jazz came in on the radio with us. We had um, Alona and we had Dylan. We, where's the boys? Oh, they're busy. Da, 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 da. We'll have to get them in. And here's their opportunity. How long ago was that, Alona? That was months oh, and months ago. And you were, yeah. This was all in the incubator. It was all coming around. Yeah? I remember you blew the gauges because I'm sitting there trying to sort of get the faders <laughs> right. And it was just dynamic. But you blew out everybody because the reports were sort of like... I popped the gauge on the on the on the line <laughs> next day. Yeah, it's sort of really having good fun. It was good fun that night, wasn't it, Jazz? You know, doing radio, doing really radio. Good fun but now night. it's like visual. We're looking at it's ourselves. Fun it's fun like, with your guys. Huh? <laughs> huh? Better look, better look, Alona. Hey, listen, you got your guitar, you got all your things. Okay, what what's the song? What, what are you going to play for us tonight? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> what do you think you're going to play tonight? Can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's as much as he's going to say. We're going to play Fist Up it. from our upcoming album. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we actually wow. haven't played it in this constellation. Um, <laughs> Dylan was like, let the boys talk, you know, and now I've done all the talking again. Del oh, okay. Dylan is listening. That's what women right do. <laughs> we both <Okay>. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how it goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
day He has been stomped on many times In so many different ways Still he holds his head up
that's what we do this for. That's what we do this for. Sound art with Crossroads. Yeah, that's fantastic. Hey, Jess, what do you reckon? That was that was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah did the radio. Yeah, did the radio alone. That's the best <laughs> thing I've sort of seen. Save it all. Don't uh, give it all away. Wait till the launch on. When's the launch? 25th of October at the old courthouse. Starts at 7. Yeah. And we've seen all these posters up everywhere and all the guys and everything else. I'm good look. The posters, yeah. Good look, fellas. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. really good. Nice yeah. and colourful, they stand out. Yeah, yeah, the posters were done by um, Sarah Ellen. Yeah. And um, the photo was taken by, Ch- by Chanel Baran. And she had this, Sarah had this brilliant idea. She's like, why don't we take each member of the band and, and do that? And I'm like, wow, I've never seen that done before. That's brilliant. So I really instead like of one that. poster, yeah. we have like, yep. you know, you it drive works. in your car, you see it the first time. Oh, look, that's the uh-huh. guitarist. It of works. Course. Oh, look, that's the bass player. Yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> I pointed it out to my mum when we were walking down the street. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, check it out. That's a really cool idea. <laughs> you, you guys look really good. You look real brutes, you know, like it looked really good all over town or something how, like how that. this cold look with his hat? Yeah, yeah, got the look, got the look, yeah. it works, it really does, yeah, look at that Dylan, where's Dylan, yeah, yeah, that works, no, yeah, we got one of those stuck on the building too, Popsky, oh, no, no, tell it to her, is that okay? <laughs> yeah, yep. No, nah, well done, well done. It's sort of like yeah, that's 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 what we were that's what we were about. You know, we can do this sort of stuff. We got to keep on rolling up. Hey, say thanks for coming in. Yeah, rush, rush, so rush. Uh, uh, Rock and Al's going to come in and do some uh, sort of spacepedia sort of stuff. Jazz, what great fun! Hey, we had another sort oh, of rush of it. Great, I missed whoosh. that on last week, and it's great to be yeah, back. Yeah, I was just going to say it's really good to sort of catch you back. You know, <laughs> but yeah, we we're a bit kicked back tonight. But then again, things are going to roll on as they go um I, Lawrence are we going off to the Great Barrier Reef with Garth Yanovic okay hey Purpley Kids good work thank you very much we'll have to sort of play some more of that new one and something from the Purpleys and something down there in Melbourne hello Melbourne all those people let's get out of here Tempest is on this Friday night check is there we'll all say goodbye say goodbye Crossroads see you at the courthouse soon as yeah <laughs> cheers alright the children are our future They are the guardians of our ocean and earth. But indeed, we are running out of time. In the beginning we crawl, later on we walk. Then we run, then we fly, then eventually fall. Talk about what we're gonna do and never do it. Before you know it, the moment's gone, too late you blew it. And you wonder where the time went, where did it go? The curtains closed, credits roll, it's the end of the show. Can't rewind your life, can't change the past. So why wouldn't you want to live like every day is your last? Tell your mum you love her, teach your kids to laugh. Take a trip, see the world, reach for the stars. Life can be a prison with invisible bars. The spirit wants to escape. But you physically can't So you wander in a daze Like zombies in a maze Forever somber Growing older along the way The light fades from the eyes of man Before we realise We'll never get this time again We win and we lose No matter what we do Right or wrong Time goes on Running out of time We laugh and we cry Tell the truth that we lie When we're gone Time goes on Crucial, small or large, show love when your mate's well falls apart. Small as-
Hello. Hello. We're here. I'm a ring in. Yeah, so I hear. That's great, isn't Paul it? Oh, great. She's had We've an accident. She has had an kangaroo. accident on the way in. She's hit a kangaroo. And we're really worried about the kangaroo. <laughs> um, I hope it's going to be okay. Is anyone listening to me? No, they're not. They're all talking. They are talking. Oh, and that's um, shocking, isn't it? But that's okay. This we'll is what forgive happens when them. you hang around, you get yep. roped into doing yep. stuff. So. so, welcome to Spaceopedia. Uh, we're running a little bit late, uh, but that's because the others wouldn't get off. Uh, but we'd like to thank them anyway. That's Marco and Jasmine. They did a great job. And of course, yep. Crossroads were Crossroads. just on. And didn't awesome. they sound good? It sounded yep. awesome. Yep. And I, that's right. The crowd went wild. And uh, I just wonder whether they've been on the grog or not. Because I they, hope so. Yeah, that's all right. I hope they checking. leave some for us. Yeah, uh, watch out. Hang on. Where's that shadow yes. cardboard? Watch out. Alona's. Oh, no, she's going. I no, thought she was going to hit that. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's being a good girl for a change. Well done. Alona. <laughs> that handsome fella. Who's that? Um, that was me. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Did yeah. he have a zucchini? Yeah. <laughs> That's and all lycra. good. Now, I one of the things we do uh, to start off is we ask each other, what was the highlight of the last fortnight? Have you got a highlight? Oh, can I share it? Oh, <laughs> hang on. Uh, yes. Um. I don't I actually don't know. No, go on, it's okay. I, um, I'll be the one that's... Music highlight? Do yeah, whatever, it doesn't highlight? matter. As long as it's a highlight. Hmm. Oh. You want me to start oh, and you well, think about it? No, yeah, you start. Well, my, I've had a couple of highlights. One is that I went to the... Um, where did I go? To the Bellevue Hotel and we had a bit of a shindig there. And um, and then uh, I went to the uh, the Lux, is that how you say it? Lux. The Luxe. The Luxe. Thrifty Lux. Um, thrifty Luxe uh, fashion parade, and that was fantastic. And then we had this weird band on after that, and um, nice. I was a bit scared. But otherwise, it's all fine. But I uh, saw you at the venue, and you saw the Al Bolton band. Yeah. I did see the Al Bolton yeah. band. and um, The wingman. What, what was that? Casey Chambers, was it? I hope not. No, oh, no. Oh, no, it was Paul Kelly. I went to Paul Casey Kelly. Chambers as well. And that was great as well. And then we had the Paul Kelly tribute person. Yeah, person. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so that was okay. That's my highlights, I guess. Oh, so okay. So I've been a busy boy, really. You have been. Yep, but yep. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, go on. Can you think of it? Because if you can't, think, we forgive you. Well, I you. think I've been to the same things as you've, you, oh, you have been to. Oh, right. So, so we <laughs> can't do anything, really. I'm pretty right. boring. I stayed home otherwise. Okay. Well, I think we've got a video now, haven't we, Lawrence? Uh, uh, yeah, it's on the sheet. Read the chart. Can you put it down there? <laughs> I know. It's, oh, Sisters Doll. Now, I saw them. They were a, 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 a glam rock band. They were on before Casey Chambers. So um, here's a video of them. And uh, I've, I don't know why a glam rock band would sort of support Casey Chambers. And she actually said that this is quite unusual for her to have a glam rock band supporter. Did she not get the support act? No. No. I don't think so. I did see the photos. Yes, so yeah. yeah. So here they are. Let's do it. Welcome to the Tonight I think that 
the house is ready to take a soul, so hold on, lady. Give me your lipstick, give me your lipstick. I make a disguise, show me your eyes. Who oh, are you scared, my dear baby? I try to get us out of here. Your lips start to quake, you shiver and shake. So hold on, dear, cause we're getting out of here. Well, we're back. This is Dot, glam rock band. And uh, I believe they hail from Melbourne, and they have a nice makeup. What did you they think? They do. And oh, did you I like, like their makeup. Yes, so do well, I. I can see you in that. Top hats, and I you know, all that. I think I'd see you that. in that next week. When yeah, you go yeah. Out. So, what do you reckon? Are they sort of trying to follow someone's path? Do you think, like? No, I think they're trying to do a kiss thing or something like. Or no, like most men want to put makeup on. That's all. Oh, they do. Yeah. I agree with. That. Um, what a dodgy mic. Oh, jeez. Okay. Excuse me, everybody, but there's a dodgy mic. There's a dodgy owl next we to me. We let everybody know. That's number five. Uh, we, so I haven't got a dodgy mic anymore. That's great. So people can hear us. So, yeah, so they were the band that uh, backed up Casey Chambers, one of the bands, and yep. then they had local bands. And isn't it great that the venue were doing that? I think it's great. I think it is. So when are you going to do your thing there? When I get time? Right. Okay, well, that's very good. And it's a bit the same with me. A bit the really. same with you? Yep. They're going to have to beg, aren't they? Yeah. And we've got Steve. He's on camera work today and uh, tonight. And he's got a bit of a van too. And I reckon he'll be at the venue soon uh, doing doing his bit of a shindig because he's got a few hours of music apparently and you only need about 45 minutes. So he'll do it easy. Nice. Does he wear makeup too? Uh, apparently he looks pretty good in a dress, I've heard. But anyway, I've never seen it, uh, and I haven't had the luck of... Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> no <laughs> I'll like bother her? with that. <laughs> there he is. Watch out there, Steve. Look, he looks like a million dollars, and he hasn't got any makeup on, on at all. He could have. There's the camera. Yep. See? Yeah. Everything's good. Everything's good. Now, the other thing I was going to th think about talking about was... Oh, that's right. What's on? Now, yep. what, what happens there, Lou, is that it flashes up on the screen... I'll do the first one. You can do the second one. Okay. How's that? 
What if I can't see it? Yep. No, it's going to be sort of between us. We move over a little bit. We're just waiting for the producer. Oh, oh and there's the Commonwealth Hotel. Now, um, what's going on? There's the Blues Jam. Is that still on every Wednesday night or has it stopped? Oh, it's once a month. Okay, so the Blues Jam is now once a month. That's a bit of a change. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's the Blues Jam at the Commonwealth Hotel. And we've got Kath from the Commonwealth Hotel coming to talk about that particular venue. It's in Kathy. Pub Crawl soon. Not Kath. Kath. Oh, not Kath. She's Kathy. She's the full Kathy. Oh, God. Who's yeah. that bloody? He's a Who's swimmer. That? A champion swimmer. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> all right, move over. Oh, I've got to move oh, over. Thursday and there's always the 16th, something Paula. at Flynn's. Go on. Oh, this yep. is at Flynn's? Yep. We've got Thursday the 16th, we've got Paula. Yep. And Friday the 17th, Jason Fakira Band. Fakira, I think Fichira. it is. Fakira. Yep. yep. Saturday the 18th, the Jeffries. They're a good band. Are they? Yes. Are they all boys? Uh, yes. Okay. Sunday the 19th, Paula. Yep. And we've got Paula again on Tuesday. Who's and she's getting yeah. So like it just goes on. Just now goes the, on. Yeah, that's it. Now the other little thing is that on townswhatson.com you can catch up with everything. Oh, that's a really good site. You <laughs> should really plug that one. That's a magic Towns site. What, it's on. one of the best. All right, so we'll just move along. What else have we got? Have we got anything else there, Mr. Producer? Oh, hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. Dolly it's so, so nice, Dolly. Dolly. I know the words. And that's on. Um, 18th and 19th of October. Very good. Jeez, I can you got see good that from eyes. You? <laughs> For an old girl. Wish I did. And what's this? Oh, uh, Pacifica Indigenous Cultural Variety Night. I think I'm on that night. Are you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, that was a joke, wasn't it? Yeah, it you was. whipped that one in. I did. Very good. We like a little bit of funny They've stuff. They've got reggae. Oh, oh there's me again. Oh, that. my God. Who's that drunk? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> he, oh, looks like, eat he looks like a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Good on you, Lawrence. I don't want you to dare. Don't you dare play that one again. Oh, and there's a dance. There's Latin Vibrations have got stuff on. Yeah, they have. And that's all on townswhatson.com as well. And they do uh, whatever that first one is. Reggaeton. They do burlesque. They do... Oh, look at that. Oh, and There's one of your Heather. music partners. Yeah, she's looking good. There she yeah, is again. There she is. Got a tongue. Oh, God. Oh, that's Marco. Yeah. He's a bit serious there. He's a very serious very man serious. at times. Um and it's all good. Michelle Plozer, 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 is that it? I, I yeah, must yeah, ask Michelle how to say it. Friday, 17th yeah. of October, Stewart Hotel, 7.30, 11.30pm. Nice. So that's it. That's a bit of... Uh, lots going on in town. Yep. And uh, we've got to... Um, and there's townswhatson.com. We look after local music. Supporting local music, townswhatson.com. Love that. All right. Can you read down there? Because I can't. I can. You have a quick look. Now, it's about time for a video, I reckon. Yep. So have. the next video is... It's a YouTube is, video. It's a YouTube mm. video, The River Monks. Yep. What's I that? am a lake. I am a lake. Okay, so I think we're going to have the video, I am a lake, and it's fantastic. We love videos. Let us know what you think. By the way, there's a little number in the corner there, 0498 728 554, I think it says... Uh, you can get in touch with us via that. You can get in touch via the website. You can get in touch with us a lot. So say something if you'd like. It'll be good. Nice okay. things. Okay, here we go.
heavy grip will keep us from floating away Our brilliance in some ways like strangely mythical day She is like Okay, that was uh, the River Monks and I Am A Lake. And uh, they've, uh, I think they were founded about 2010 and they appeared at the Nebraska Music Festival. So they're almost famous. Yep, you need to check them out. Yeah, I think you check should because they're fantastic. So they'd be on, uh, they've probably got a website, which we don't have exactly. But, uh, you know, Mr. Google, you can check on that, the River Monks, and that was the track I Am A Lake. Looks like a lot of fun. I saw them doing uh, a little bit of canoeing and stuff. So, you know, they're, uh, they're lake experts, aren't they? they? Are. And they and, and they like to do the, bit, the party thing as well because I saw people dancing and oh, dancing, all that sort of stuff. Fun. So there it is, River Monks. There's Home their Facebook the page even. So they've got it all. And there's a drawing. That's, That's a cool them. Shot. Look at them. Yeah, they're fantastic. Look at that big crowd watching them. Um, Zoo Bar. London oh, Undersound. They've got something. nice font. Too. Yeah, no, look, you need to get into this band. They're fantastic. So it's good to see these new bands, or not so new. 2010. That's a pretty new band. So uh, Cool. Where are know. we now? We're uh, at the Commonwealth Hotel in South yeah, Townsville. That's right. And we've so got Kathy here. Well done. Sorry, Kathy. We, we dragged Kathy in. We've you. chained her to yeah. the little yeah. cubes here. And this is part of what we call pub crawl. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Kath, how are you? Great, thank you for inviting us. It's our pleasure. Very keen to uh, do a little promo for the Commonwealth Hotel. Awesome. Really? We are. So, okay. would you like to tell us about the Commonwealth well, Hotel? Well, I, I can. The Commonwealth Hotel is your traditional corner pub. It was established back in 1901 and it retains the heritage and character of that era. 
And I must admit, it's totally loved by our locals. They actually think it's their own hotel, nice. which is oh, wonderful. Don't you just love that? Absolutely. Yeah. The hotel. Like the locals. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, keep it's it, okay. Keep going. Well, You're doing well. The hotel has uh, a social club. Whoa. Which is known as the Commonwealth Hotel Sporting and Social Club. Yep. And uh, it has in excess of 100 members, and they meet at the pub every Friday night and Sunday lunchtime, and they always welcome new members. Lovely. The hotel also has a courtesy bus, probably oh. the only pub in Townsville that does. Oh, that's fantastic. Whoa, yeah, 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 let's hear it from like the crowd. All around town. Oh, well, we we're a yep, bit fussy we about how far we travel. We love yep. the CBD, South Townsville and Railway Estate. Yep. <laughs> However, we will travel a little farther, further afield. So anyone who like, would like to uh, utilise the bus, all they have to do is ring the hotel and a booking will be made and they'll oh, get great. picked up or dropped off or whatever. It's fantastic. It is good. We love it. What a pub. It's a great pub. Okay, so what about changes? What's going on? There's a few changes happening? Well, we have got quite a few changes happening at the hotel. One being that we're very excited about is we have a new logo. Okay. Uh, other changes are we are painting and we're upgrading our beer garden. Don't expect me to help with that. I no, hate paint. It's, yeah. Well, if we actually engage somebody for that. Oh, that's okay yes. then. I can relax. Uh, yes, we have a swimming pool. Yeah. Hey, yes. the crowd know the pub. Yes. Yep. So with the beer garden, it's available for functions, um, which uh, it's free of charge to hire the venue. So it's great for birthdays, sporting gatherings, Christmas parties, which, by the way, it's only seven weeks till Christmas. Oh, so. yes. oh let's not... Oh, OK, you have already, so we will mention it. Seven Abs weeks to Christmas. Something like that. So get your Christmas bookings in. Absolutely. Commonwealth Hotel. Absolutely. It's Beautiful. The, place, the place to be. All right. So that's, uh, oh, so that's the differences, you reckon? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> we... Oops. We have live music every weekend, so we really support local artists. So, for example, this Saturday night. Yeah. Yay! Yes, yeah. we're all for that. Yeah, this Saturday night we have Midlife Crisis, oh, uh, and they're band. sort of a pub rock band. The following Saturday night, the 25th of October, we have a band called JD and, and the Express. Express. Yes, we know them. Yep. So they're a blues, funk, reggae band, That's and it's it. the very first time that they're playing at the Commonwealth Hotel. So we are extremely excited to have them here. Yep. And we have heard on the grapevine that they're really into their original music, and it's being very well received. And they're so... Oh, and Kath, Kath, they're on the screen. Oh, so okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, okay, this Friday night we have a charity cabaret show, which uh, is being organised by Jody Lingard. The entertainers are Fats Domino, sorry, Fats Tomo, and his special guests are Glenn Anthony and Kevin Spencer. It's a fundraiser for breast cancer with fifteen dollar entry and it's adults only. No, it's oh, family friendly. Family friendly. Nice. And fifteen dollars for a buffet dinner. Very yeah. good. That's yeah. lovely. And, and now the other thing too is that that face looks a bit. Oh, he familiar. looks. He? he looks super familiar, oh, and that hang is. Hang on, I'm, I'm not sure. Hang on, I'll take my glasses off. This is Ste that? this is Stevie from King. So oh, King Social. We, we had King Social <laughs> at the pub last Saturday oh, night, and you. it was the most awesome night. It was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. we had King, along with uh, Tilly Plaza yes. Live and the Coffin yes. Rockers. And the beer garden was electric, and That's from all accounts, on. everybody had a wonderful evening. So. And did you have to evacuate the pub because electricity is pretty serious? We... No? They knew that there are a few noise restrictions in Townsville, <laughs> so they were very keen to... Uh, I was talking about the electric night, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, it was a great night, and we were yeah. very, very excited no, to fantastic. have them at the pub. Fantastic news. Yeah. Yes. Lou, your turn, I reckon. Kitchen. Kitchen. Oh, 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 you've got a kitchen. kitchen. Oh, we have to talk okay. About yes, we have, a ki we have a kitchen that caters for all the functions. They also have daily and weekly specials. So, for example, on a Wednesday night, they'll do a 250-gram rump with a pot of beer for, for just $15. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's pretty fantastic. good. Fantastic. Yes. Pot of beer and everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That sounds great. Yes. All right. 
Now, uh, have we talked about the Kiwi Christmas thingy? Or? Oh, okay. Well, we've got a Kiwi Christmas night, which is on Thursday, the 13th of November. Yeah. And uh, that's out in the beer garden. Is there a hungy? There is. Get and out. seafood nice. and desserts, etc. And there'll be five different artists performing on the night so it should be a really great night and are they local artists all, all local well Any local like to townsville Kiwi music yes yeah, definitely beautiful. so it should be a really good night it's been a, you know i think it's good that we haven't had a good hanging in um townsville for a while <laughs> i don't reckon so that's very good isn't we it we can hang you <laughs> Oh, so that'll be a good start. Should be a lot of fun, yes. <laughs> all right, that's all good. We won't good. talk about your hanging. Okay, so that's it, the Commonwealth Hotel. Is that all right? Beautiful. That is wonderful. Thank you so much for inviting us along. Oh, no, that's all right. So on we behalf of pa Barry, Pat and myself, uh, thank you very much. That's Thanks, a pleasure. Kathy. Thanks Not for a coming problem. along. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Me too. So stay right there, don't move. Uh, now, what have we got next? Another video, I reckon, have we? I think so. I've I got no idea, but... Oh, yes, the rising... Appalachia. That was well read, wasn't it? With scale down. Okay, let's hear it. Stand up, look around, and then scale that down too. Stand up, look around, and then scale that down too. Stand up, look around, and then scale that down too. Stand up. Look around and then scale that down too. Stand up, look around and then scale that down. So stand up, look around and then scale that down too.
there, everybody's got a lot to say about everybody else. But it's our own transgression that always tends to melt away and fade into that critique of whose fault or whose blame or who's wrong. Oh, no, no, each and every one of us, we are doing something that's too hard or too fast or too long, and there's none but ourselves to make this thing last. None but ourselves. No, there's none but ourselves to make this thing last. None but ourselves. So it starts there. Everybody take a long, hard look at you. A long, long, hard look at you, Lord. It starts there. Everybody take a long, hard look at you. A long, hard look at you. Oh, no, it starts there. Everybody take a long, hard look at you. A long, hard look at you. Oh, no, it starts there. Everybody take a long, hard look at you. A long, hard look at you. And you stand up and you look around and then you scale that. Hello, we're back again and uh, we've got lots of people on the stage or whatever you like to call it here, on the set. And uh, wasn't that a great video? That was a great video of yeah. Rising Appalachia. Yeah. And, and I, I think it had a very North American feel to it. Yes, I think it did too. Um, and they were into the uh, twirling of fires and yes. they had a bit of a husky sort of dog and there. Hiawatha kind of Hiawatha. girls running around. Oh, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to check them up when we get a chance. Yep. We've yeah, been YouTube a bit, that. Yeah, because we've been a bit, you know, Rachel was coming in tonight and she had a bit of an accident, which is a shame. And we wish her all the best. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. And uh, is she here, a kangaroo? Yeah. And as we said earlier, and uh, we hope the kangaroo's all right. Uh, Rachel's all right. The, kang uh, the car isn't so good, though, apparently. So that's what uh, stopped her. And Lou, fantastic, you know. Threw yourself in. I didn't throw myself. I got thrown in. Yeah, like an NRL player in a final. Like no one really wants oh. to sit this close to you. Yeah, I know that. I'm just but, um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, but I wore my deodorant and I've got some bit of sexy um, stuff on. Cologne. Yes. That's the word. And sex um, Panther. Yeah, that's You've the one. You've got Sex Panther yep. on. I can now, <laughs> stop it. We have to speak about the people beside us. Hi. There they are. <laughs> okay, we've got the keys. And Ooh. the keys are more than this. This is just part of the keys. This isn't is half it? of the keys. Half yeah. of the keys. Yep. So oh, yeah. uh, we've also got a bassist and a drummer. Yep. But unfortunately, they probably can't fit into the screen tonight. So no. we just decided so to go alone tonight. Sorry, don't let me interrupt you. Um, now, who's the members? You'd better run through everybody that's here okay, and so not uh, here. So my name's Steph Regano. Um, I play keys and um, the piano. Um, this is Matt Elwin, um, yep. who plays guitar. He, um, get, he gets around, Matt. He does get around. He 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 likes yeah. likes to be a bit of a bit of a band person. Yeah, he's a bit of a band <laughs> person. <Yes>. Um, <laughs> Way to put it, I guess. That is band whore is usually the thing uh, we what? say. Oh, I didn't say that. Hey, no, <laughs> come on. This is we've got to keep our show nice, don't we, crowd? Yes, we do. Well, you shouldn't have invited me. <laughs> oh, look at them go! Aren't they fantastic? There's got to be a hundred people here. <laughs> anyway, besides that, uh, it's all good when we've got. 
50. All right, 10. Okay, we don't know how many, but we're not telling. All right, so what are you going to do? And so, yeah, tell us, because I saw you at the venue. Yes. The other night. Yeah, um, we supported Casey Chambers. That was our most recent gig, so oh, we did right. that a few weeks That's ago. That's right. So you yeah. weren't so strange as that other mob, Sisters Doll. <laughs> no, you were pretty normal compared oh, to them. We tried. It was yeah, a bit good. of a... But a bit of a bit of a culture clash, really, because they were kind of, um, I don't even know what genre they'd be. Well, they're glam rock. Glam, glam rock, yeah. 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 And so we're not glam rock at all. I noticed so. that. Yeah. And not this case, Chambers, so. <laughs> no, it was a pretty weird setup, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Yeah. You know, like, let's vary everything. It's what it's all about. So you're going to do a couple of songs, I believe. Yes. Um, so we're going to do um, Lavender Eyes. Tell um, us about that very so quickly. Uh, I actually wrote that ages ago. I wrote it in 2010. Yep. Um, we've been playing it for ages and ages. Um, yep. It uh, This charted really well on the Triple J on Earth charts when we yep. put it up. Um, yep. So, And it's a song that people keep on kind of gravitating towards. And so okay. everyone kind of asks us to play it whenever we play. So, um, yeah, we thought we'd do that one. Right. And um, we're also doing a song called Me and You. Excellent. Ooh, yeah. nice one. And that one you wrote uh, we last wrote, week. I, Oh, I wish. <laughs> okay. Um, this one I wrote in. I actually wrote it during Cyclone Yazi. When was that? 2011. Yeah. Yeah. So I that one's know. that one's also pretty old. I don't remember stuff. <laughs> so it's uh, that's why I'm called Rock and Al Simers because um, Simers by nature's and name or something like that. I forget. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. So I think we might move on to a song. What do you reckon, crowd? Let's hear it for the uh, keys. <laughs> oh my God, it's exciting. Okay, take it away. Now, <laughs> whenever you're ready. We're, we're just we're just getting ourselves in order. It's a very yeah, very right. relaxed affair. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Go for it when you're ready. It's three a.m. and the world is falling down. The streets are silent. No one's making a sound. that out there in internet land 
I it's liked beautiful. it too. It was very nice. Oh, very thank nice. you. Well done. Keep up the good work. I oh, will try. So we got a few more gigs coming up. Yeah. Um. So we were meant to be supporting Blue Juice. Um. In uh, November. They cancelled. We were so we were so excited about it, but it's it's so devastating. Yeah. To us. Well, that's what happens when you have got a funny name. <laughs> Not you, Blue Juice. <laughs> Um, yeah, all right. So but ho- yeah, so hopefully we'll fall the gap um, with something, something yeah, else with something the venue. Yeah, up. yeah, no worries. And yeah, and there's other pubs around. And yeah, things. Yeah, all right. So what we might do is keep moving. What do we got here? Oh, hang on. I've got to re- have a look at this. Have you got what else? You got this news? Is there? Well, you got some news? No. Um. So that's that's a picture of our um EP, our EP that we did yep. last year. Oh, okay. So that's available. Yeah. Yeah. So if you contact the band, um, we can mail it out to you. Um, if you just contact us on our Facebook page, which is the keys. Yeah. Nice. That, that makes sense. Okay. Keep up the good work. I love it when it makes sense. <laughs> that's very important. So. Uh, now you're going to do another one? If yes. you want us to. Yes. Yeah. All right. I nearly said shit, yeah. But I shouldn't because it's rude. You can say that. Yeah, That's I know. Right. Well, I did. Um, anyway, let's keep it moving and we're going to um, play another song. All right. Tell us what the name of it is. Um, so this one's Lavender Eyes. Oh, I knew that. Okay. Go for it.
follows that. The crowd that roar. God, there's got to be 150 people in this room. At least. Oh. So, you know, next time we have an open night, you should come down, I reckon. What do you think, Keys? Definitely. Yeah, good Make idea. Make your way down. Be so nice that was to fantastic. see you. Yeah. Neither yeah. the whole crew. Yeah. 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 There you go, there's a bit of uh, sound. Uh, and we knew that was happening, it's all on the Q sheet. Um, not the keys sheet, the Q sheet. Uh, all let's right, play tell us. Film clip. I think we should. What are, what's happening, Lou? Uh, this is a Brizzy piece, and these guys are crazy. Are they? So they've been described as um, well, one of the members grew up in Townsville, should explain everything. Oh, well, that's part um, of the crazy. This is Monster <laughs> Zoku on song with that's Valentine's. Fantastic, let's do it. And when it's. Good. You'll always be my valentine Let's get together real soon Somebody's thinking of you Ooh, I sure miss you Radio. So uh, we're back and um, behind me, as you can see, if you can see through our heads, it's townsofwhatson.com. We're always pushing that because uh, it keeps you up to date. Now, we've got to talk about Know Your Native because one of the things we think, Lou, is that people don't know their native animals and we're offering big prizes if you can pick the animal. So basically, let's keep it moving and we'll have... Uh, I asked uh, the production staff to get some photos together to try and encourage you to know your natives. Uh, the first one, we've got prize jackpots every Space Peter Peter episode. So if it doesn't go off at jackpots. Last week, uh, oh, oh. I, I asked for a galah, you know, a pink galah. I That's guess, close. Yeah, That's well, <laughs> there's other words you could use. Yeah, well, we got a pink galah, I suppose, really. 
Anyway, that's a... Ca- oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. That's a frill neck lizard. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep moving along. Let's try and get the people to understand what's going on here. We need a native... An- oh, look. That's there. three. He's eating his own shit. Yep. Oh, that's he should. That's disgusting. All right. <laughs> oh, that's a bit political. Uh, good on you, Lou. Well, we'll keep moving. We've got, uh, you know, everyone's going outside. The jackpot is, hang on, the prize is, let's have a drum roll. Go on. No drum roll. That's difficult. <laughs> One dollar. It's gone from 50 cents to a dollar. Nice. Yep, you, you could can do with that dollar. dollar. I could, yeah. The things you could, you could do. You could put it towards a rum and you coke. You could lay by a rum and coke. You could. <laughs> At the Herbert. Oh, they finally found the galahs. Yeah. But that's not, that's not the animal we need to uh, identify. So let's see it. I think we're going to see it now. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what's no, happening. Come died. on, let's move it along. There it is. There it is. Now, for the idiot who said <gasps> it was an ostrich. Um, that's a helmet. It's a fry bird. And uh, the other one was that it's an emu. Another idiot who doesn't know they're natives. That's it. The secret is you can win a dollar. A dollar tonight if you know the name. Normally I want the biological name or whatever as well, but tonight, just the name. So send it in via the usual channels, 0498 728 551. If you're an idiot, don't send in. Oh, and here's what's on. We've got Tempest next Friday night. We've got the old Bolton Bound, the Paul Longley Project. And I thought we had someone else. It's an open stage. People can turn up and sing and dance and do whatever they like. Liquid Revival. There's the October Gibbs gig. That's the Liquid Revival. And um, they are... Sorry, yes, I've had too much to drink. Um, They're there. Molly's. We've got gigs there. All on townswithwhatson.com. You can find out what's happening. There we go. That's Street Party coming up. King Social, Pop Standin, Three Mile Road, Sarah Little... Um, and there's a wedding expo for all those silly people oh, who want to yeah. get married. Oh, yeah, to that. And no. then we've got James Rain, he's on. Dave Hughes, Pointless, he's a man. Do everyone know Dave Hughes yet? Yeah. Uh, all on townswithwhatson.com. We're just about running out of time. Oh, it's really? actually 8 o'clock. We better ha- speak faster. Yep, all right. <laughs> townswithwhatson.com supports local live music. That's the end of the show, really. We need something to happen now, Mr. Producer. I'm sitting here, I'm looking really good. Um, are we going to have some music? What are we going to do? I don't know. Oh, yes. There's a clip on. We've got, yeah, I, I knew that. What is it again? It's called Yeah Weed. Yeah Weed. Mm. And uh, it's from somewhere. <laughs> and there's a language warning. I'm terribly sorry. Look at the producer. He's got his hands on his hip. Oh, I don't know. Pathetic. You know what it's like. Thanks All for right. having me. Thanks, Ciao. Lou. Yeah, Thanks, beautiful. Al. I hope you had a good time. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. He's done a great job. Sean, what a great bloke. Who else? Thanks, Christo. Uh, and someone else who Ciao. shall remain Thank nameless. You. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for the close up, <laughs> me teeth. <laughs> you know what I fucking hate? People who ride their bicycle on the road. Just stay the fuck out of the way, cunt. Fuck. That last joint fucking got me, sassy. Yeah, I put some dusties in it. Oh, did ya? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel it now. Fuck, I love weed, eh? And hell gets you high and shit. Who doesn't fucking love weed? It's fucking good for you. They'll fucking legalise it soon. No, they fucking won't, cunt. Yeah, they will. It's a massive government conspiracy. What do you mean, sassy? Well, look at it like this, right? One by one, each country has been legalising weed. Soon it's got to be legalised pretty much everywhere. Eh? Fucking say what? Well, what's gonna happen to everyone when they're all fucking high and legalised weed? They're gonna get the munchies. They're gonna get the munchies fucking spot on, Donnie. So then all fucking capri and all that sort of shit's gonna bring out new lollies and stuff. Like fucking lemon flavoured pods and all this different... All this new shit. And everyone's gonna buy all this new munchie food. And the government's gonna make a lot of money off it. What are they gonna use all that money for? I don't know, but I think it's got something to do with the pyramids. Fuck. That's been debunked countless times by a physiologist worldwide. <gasps> Who's that? Yeah, it's fucking Les's kid. What are you guys doing in my dad's storage room? <laughs> 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 We're waiting for Les to come back inside so we can smoke up with him. 
Yeah, what's he doing out there? He's been fucking ages. Oh, he's outside talking to that great mailman. So, you're telling me we're going to go back to that fucking island? Yes. Now, why the fuck would I want to do that? Well, because... Give me one good fucking reason. We have to go to the centre of the island to destroy the hive. Because if we don't do that, Liz, they're all going to come here. There's already been numerous sightings by the locals. Claiming they've all seen really strange activity. Oh, yeah, you know what, Clarence? They're probably the same fucking lunatics that claim they've seen Bigfoot. Oi, Quinnon. Do you want to have a turn of this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I've, I've, never, I've never done that before. Fucking pussy. <laughs> it's not that Skits Hydro, is it? What Skits Hydro? I heard that people fucking spray their buds with chemicals and shit. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, fuck. Who, who do you fucking think we are? Fucking dirty. Try this, mate. Grown by the Yowies. It's called Yowweed. Oh, I'm, ne- I'm nervous. I won't freak out, will I? You'll be fine. Trust us. <laughs> he's got to he's gotta get so far. <laughs> Leslie, the tumours are multiplying by the minute. It's only a matter of time until they come here and take over. We have to go back to the island, Liz, before it's too late. All right. I'll think about it. Now get the fuck off my lawn. <laughs> my heart's beating really fast. <laughs> That's normal, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <gasps> Is it big legs? Quinn. Get the fuck to your room. Now <gasps> mm. oh, I smell marijuana. You been smoking pot, Quinnin? Huh? Fuck, Dan, I'm sorry I didn't meet it. The sea scorch is It's about time you fucking became a man, Quinnin. I was starting to get worried. Fire up another, boys. Let's make Quinn and Green out. <laughs> oh, Let's <fuck laughs> make him pass out. Give him some fucking hash or something. Oi, Quinnin. Do you want to have a turn of this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I've, I've, never, I've never done that before. Fucking pussy. <laughs> And we're back with another session of Smart Arts. Is that that was a really us? interesting video. You can tell it's Australian though, right? Yeah. Fucking, 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 all that sort of funny, awesome stuff they like yeah. to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to for the last show as well. Rachel hit a kangaroo. Did she get into a boxing match or something? So, I don't know. Yeah, she's okay she though. So, yeah. Well, yeah. hope she won. She's okay. So at least we can be thankful for that. And thank you for our lovely replacement host who had to put up with Al all night. Yeah. That was That must have been bad. <laughs> well... We have an even worse show for you coming up. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've both had really good weeks, haven't yeah. we, Zach? What have you been up to? Um, really not that much assessment. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love that. My brain is just like, see ya. So That's pretty much me that's every That's why day. I've got wine on the floor, which um, no one can see, but it's there. On the floor. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> and I've had a pretty busy week. I worked as the mascot for the Cowboys on Monday, so that was fun. Did I was people bluey. punch you? I actually had kids hug me, which is even more frightening. That oh. was that was just terrifying. Actually, that was a guy I went to school with, he was Lucky the Turtle from uh, or Lucky T Turtle from Reef HQ for a while, and I remember going out one day and this huge friggin' turtle was uh, <laughs> stalking me <laughs> through the mall, and I was like, "Who the hell is that?" It's like that Had drug no trip idea. I saw in the movie. Well, I was on that drug trip. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That would have been terrifying, wouldn't it? Yes. No, people made only punch me in the face when I was walking down looking like this. You know, that don't have to need a mascot outfit oh for okay, that. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, in costume, you're okay. Oh, totally fine. I'm safer in costume than I am normally. Excellent. <laughs> no, we have a great show coming up. So, one of our guests has called in sick and better be dying because it you should be, be here. Ebola. Oh, it better be. Otherwise, you're in deep trouble. Mm-hmm. But we have Marion coming on again. Always love Marion. Always. Marion's and, uh, fantastic. Bob we have well. Bob. Bob Zobs. And, and there's uh, the, the straight laughter coming out from outside. So we have some extra guests with us as well. <coughs> but first off, we have a video from Tash. Tash, Tash, look, I'm actually organized uh, hey, today. Hey, someone's organized. It's I not me. <laughs> went to Tash's EP launch uh, about a week ago. Fantastic. How'd it go? It big, was big amazing. Yeah, of course it was. Amazing. It's Tash. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, 
we flick to her video. Her video called, called Apples. Apples. Hey, Tube, Tash here. This is Lucy. I've been touring in South America and I've got some new songs for you. This one's called Apples. I've got a band now. We're called Terrapin. and it'd be awesome if you checked us out. Thanks, heaps. <laughs> So there was Tash Apples. Wasn't that great? Tash Apples? Tash Apples. <laughs> Tash. You know Tash what apples. I mean. Okay. Tash has apples, apparently. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope they're red and juicy. We, um, um, we have Bob. I know. Bob's back. Hi. Hey, folks. <laughs> so, Bob, are you going to be raging this week? Going to be getting... Well, yeah, look. But first, just a little feedback on last week. The, the um, Yeah, the sex tape. Mm. Um, we thought we we thought we were onto a good thing. We had as well sisters Mary and Alan. I looked into it. It was actually just Sister Mary Ellen from down at <laughs> St Pat's. So oh. Sister Mary oh. Ellen, not cool, not on. Now okay. I could actually believe that coming from a nun, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Okay, Did you go to Catholic so school, Jade? Uh, I went to a Christian school actually. Well, just as primary. bad. Just yeah. as bad. <laughs> yeah, it was. But this week. Mm -hmm. This week, we're talking about death cults. Death cults. Death cults. This one's right up your alley. Ah, yeah, no I actually good. headed a death cult once. It was great. For, the, for me, not for them. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we don't like them. Nobody likes death cults. No, We've probably. seen a few. There's been a few around. Mm -hmm. Everybody remem remembers Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Pol True. Pot. Mao. Death's little sister says, hi, friends. There's been a few. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Death. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, just to sorry, tease her. I was distracted. This is just to tease her, by the way. Um, yeah. 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 So, we don't really like the Death Cults. We're actually spending a lot of money at the moment mm -hmm. to go over to somewhere else to try and sort out a few Death Cults. Mm -hmm. I thought what we should do, save a few bucks while we're already over that way. There's a few that we're not on to. There's all those chaps in black that they're on about. There's a few more. Mm-hmm. Italy's not that far away. The Vatican's a very small place. Now, stay with me. What about Sister Mary? Sister, no, nah, well, she's all right. She's over here. She's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But <laughs> and she's all right. She's all right. It's the others. We've had some other death cults across the time as well that we haven't liked. What about the British? Mm -hmm. The British, England's only just next to Italy. They could nip over there, drop a... <laughs> Ordnance or whatever they call them. I like this plan. It's called the British. I like that plan. <laughs> yeah, look, look. They've been into a bit of death cult in themselves yeah, over the time. Have. You know <laughs> that we're like Australians are primarily British. I'm so Irish. I have a grudge against Great everyone. Jeez, <laughs> the Irish don't mind bombing <laughs> the British. 
Okay, well, look, I'm not getting a lot of I'm not getting a lot of support here on the couch, <laughs> but look, the screen's gone wild. People are just calling mm-hmm. in everywhere. Mm-hmm. Lawrence is going crazy on the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence always is crazy. Yeah, that's just Lawrence. <laughs> but what about uh, the the Jonesboro cult and all those guys in? Yeah, they were nasty. They took care of themselves, yeah. though. <laughs> David Kriash. Wasn't that very polite of him? He took care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> if only some of the other death cults could be that polite, we'd be very, very pleased. <laughs> so what are we seeing on the screen there, Bob? They're called it looks like oh, that's, that's from Palm Creek. It looks like someone's stalking your Facebook page. It does. It's called Stalkbook. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I think our producer is having a bit of fun there. I think so. <laughs> Don't go this into the private when messages. This is happens on our show. Yeah. Lawrence just... Yeah. You, you wanted to rant about something today, didn't you? Oh, I was planning on ranting about everything. I rant about a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> a- anyone that you could send to a death cult? I've got a little list. We've got a little, a little list. list. <laughs> Bring it out, Zach. Bring it out. <laughs> it's like five pages long. And I mean like five scroll pages. We'll, just we'll send going. it to, to the pink galah that was on the screen before. <laughs> <laughs> Rightio, folks. Thanks very much for having well, me in tonight. thank you for coming in. And uh, maybe we'll get some better feedback on the death My Sister Mary Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Well, he loves you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I off? No. Still going. <laughs> Am I off? <laughs> off like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to cut to a video. Now, Zach, what do we got coming we up? We have Ezekiel. 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 My friend Ezekiel. Your friend Ezekiel. He is actually coming up to Townsville. He's going to play at the Courthouse Theatre on the 24th of on October. On the 24th. 24th. Something so to check out. That'll be great. Yeah, so he's doing a solo project at the moment. He has headed up uh, Mammal, Nerve, Overreactor, Ox and the Fury. Um, but this is just him. And uh, we're going to have a look at his first first single yeah, this is all on you yeah all on me all on me there you go so not all on you <laughs>
two hats, that's my dream. One man, one machine, two hats, that's my dream. Two flags on three, I sing in two flags on three. It's all on who, all on who, I tell you who right now. It's all on me, all on me. It's all on me, all on me. Hey, hey, it's all on me. That I was Ezekiel. Are. That was fantastic. Isn't that really he good? Was. It was amazing. The 24th, you 24th said. 24th of October at the uh, Courthouse Right here. We'll have to come and check that out. Yeah, That would be definitely. amazing. And Marianne's here. We have another here. guest. Hey, Mary. Hello, I'm back again. <gasps> Love seeing you here. Good oh, to yeah. see you. I know you too. So, uh, tell us, uh, we had a very special visitor in the city this week, we? Didn't did. We did. On Sunday, we had Julia Gillard come mm -hmm. um, to the university, courtesy of Mary Who and um, Random Press, mm -hmm. to um, launch her book. Yep. Yep, she... I should know the name of the book. Oh, look, there's some pictures of um, Julia talking. Unfortunately, Julia lost her voice. She got the flu and um, <laughs> and so she couldn't talk for very long. But the advantage of not talking for very long, she agreed to um, sign everybody's books personally to them. Oh, and okay. also you could get your photo taken. So lots of people got their photo taken with Julia. Wow. Well, I guess, I mean, it's her memoir, isn't it? So It's her memoir of her three years and three days as the first Australian female Prime Minister. Yeah, where are the photos of no, you? No, because I was um, probably behind the camera <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the time. So I do that on purpose. Oh, that's my car. There I am <laughs> with all the boxes in the back, the boxes of books. So uh, she was only in town for one day? Yeah. And only made one appearance? Yep. And wow. she was in Cairns on Saturday night, mm -hmm. in Townsville on Sunday night, and then she was going to Rockhampton on Monday night. No wonder she lost her voice. She didn't go to Rockhampton. She had, had to cancel. So wow. we were lucky that she didn't cancel. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, so at least we got to see her and meet her, and she was just really, really lovely, really Excellent. personable. Yeah. Beautiful. yeah. I would have loved to, for her to talk a bit more Yeah. Um, so we could have more about her experiences as yeah. Prime Minister, yeah. but... Next time, maybe. I guess you'll have to read the book. I will have to read the book. <laughs> Speaking uh, of books. Yes, what have you, have you brought for us today? One here. Okay, well, today I... That's I so we can hit you over the head. <laughs> I brought a control. very big book. This is the size of it. And Lawrence has got it even bigger on there on the screen. That's better. <laughs> the Bone Clocks by David Mitchell. And as I said previously, David Mitchell's one of my favourite authors. He wrote Cloud Atlas, mm -hmm. um, which we talked about in Several one of our reviews. Ago, yeah. yeah, I loved Cloud Atlas. And this one... Is, is sort of following a similar, not, not the same themes, but a bit surreal, a bit fantasy. So it follows the life of Holly. She starts when she's 14 and, um, it, and it goes till when she's 60. So it starts in 1984 and finishes in 2024. So, um, well, I'm going to be 59 in 2024. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to yeah, think well, about she's that. 50, <laughs> well, Holly's 59 in 2024. So well, there you, you go. can read the last chapter and see what apocalyptic England is like in 2024 with very little electricity and... Um, but you did mention... The death cults. There were <laughs> the death cults, yeah. <laughs> you did mention there was something about um, hearing voices well, and... Well, yeah, the, the fantasy side of things is Holly mm. um, hears voices and you find out through the book there's these characters that aren't really human but they are sort of human but they can influence other people and appear and disappear I'm and not sure I but you read have that. to read the book to find out this is a sort of book I love <laughs> is I it love from a, like like a first person perspective from Holly like diary entries or is it like a, a uh, no it's just a conversations between but Holly is like the the main the protagonist uh, yeah yeah um, it's not narrated by her but it does come from her life in a okay, way. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, by the size of this book, I'm glad that we didn't make this uh, our first book club. Yeah, book well, we'll have, to, we'll have to do that at the end of the sessions and then we'll, for the first time next year, we can have a book club. So you've got over Christmas as to read. As long as there's a dot to dot, I'll be yeah. happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this book was also shortlisted, or long listed for the um, Man Booker, Booker Prize. Yeah. And the Man Booker Prize is the, um, the awards for gives awards for the best fiction 
English written fiction. Okay. And um, long listed means he was one of 19, but he wasn't shortlisted. And the winner was announced today, which was um, Richard Flanagan. And I can't remember the name of the book, but it's about his father's experiences in the railway, um, the Burma Railway, okay. oh, yeah. so yep. during the war. And it um, was called The Narrow Road to the Deep. Okay. So for that, he wins £50,000. So he was on TV today, That's very happy right. with that, so he can survive a bit longer as a writer. <laughs> yeah. He well was a bit worried he might have to get another sort of job. I might need to start writing a book. <laughs> <coughs> so the Man Booker Prize, is that... Um, is that a, a fancy name for this, like, is that actually someone's name or is it just a really uh, not um, very um, inventive I was going title. to look that up before I came. It used to be the Booker Prize mm -hmm. and then man was added to it and I can't answer that question. So I'll look it up and I'll answer that next week. How's well, that? it's better than I'll the eight Dr. Booker Carl. Prize. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so Lawrence is about to put something on. This is something that I'm doing. I thought we could talk about this in a fortnight's time. I'm part of an exhibition with Bernadette Biscouchi, Kathy Cornwall and Robin Sweeney. Mm -hmm. But as part of that exhibition, I'm doing basketry workshops out at Pinnacles. So you're nice. not out graffitiing public spaces no, no, anymore? Not, no, no. Well, this is just... <laughs> no. And one good thing about what I do with basketry is with plant fibres, if, if I did graffiti, it would soon break down in the weather. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So there's lots going on in town. And thanks, Lawrence, for finding that. All right, well, we'll find out more about that next fortnight. Yeah, but I do recommend this book. I think it's a great book and mm -hmm. you can buy it from Mary Who Bookshop. Of course. And, of, and David Mitchell has a lot of back titles that are, I re I've read all his books. Can we get the name again? The Bone Clocks. The Bone Clocks. It's a great cover. It is. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, fantastic. Look, it's on the screen now. Very I think trippy. it's a fantastic cover. I have to go and check that out. So Hearing voices, so I when you else. when you look <laughs> at that picture, that's sort of what the story's like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, all right. So I'll, I'll organise a book at the end of our sessions, how many more sessions have we got to go? Like three. Three. So three. on our third session, I'll organise a book for us all to read, including Fantastic. Lawrence and all these back behind the scenes ha! people. We'll all have a big <laughs> book I don't club. know if some of them can read, but <laughs> that's okay. What if we just give them notations after yeah. every chapter <laughs> so they see what happens? Yeah, so there we notes. go. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'll see you in a fortnight. Fantastic. We'll, we'll talk Thanks about again. the basketry then. Okay, yep. Excellent. Now, uh, we do have another clip. Another I clip. It's, is it Dark Cell? Dark Cell. We, Dark Cell. we played a clip from them a couple of weeks we ago, did, didn't we? We did, just before the sleazeball came on, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they they played in Townsville. They played so in Townsville. As in, actually, here, here at in the courthouse? Yep. Courthouse. Fantastic. Yes. Wow. So, I don't know what we're going to have a look at, but it's Dark yeah, Cell. It's going to be a surprise for us, too.
And uh, that was Dark Cell, their latest release, Hollywood Scars. Hollywood Scars. But that Scars is all we really care about, isn't it? Yeah. Girls, girls in underwear, <laughs> doing little dances. We I like that. I hate being blind. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you missed out. Yeah, I always do. Yes. So, one of our performers, our guest, was supposed to be here. He's got Ebola. Yeah, it better or be Or tuberculosis. You better be dying, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, somebody, somebody did die in Cairns from tuberculosis, but I think it was a woman. Oh. A man can become a woman like that. True. <laughs> Just takes True. that little extra swish. I know lots of drag queens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Girl at the Rock Show Imagery. That's my page. I need more likes. Go it's and like it. It's almost like we had this planned. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, nice little plug there. So Girl at so the Rock Show. So what, other, what have you photographed lately? What have you got? Um, I need to put up a few photos, actually. I did the Bad Boys gig, obviously, which is those ones there, which is, oh, hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, British India and uh, who else have I shot? Oh, I've shot so many people. I know the feeling, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, okay. Did you do the sleazeball? Uh, no, I no. didn't do sleazeball, actually. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to do, um, wow, there's a lot of naked men there. Um, I'm Says a lot about the person who has the photos, doesn't it, James? I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hoping to actually photograph uh, 360 and uh, Hilltop Hoods when they're here because they do fantastic and shows. And when are they here? Uh, 360 is here on the 15th of November. 15th He's of playing November. at base mm -hmm. on the island. And uh, Hilltop Hoods are here just before my birthday. I want to uh -huh. say the 25th. So we maybe. know what to do for you for your birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Fantastic. So, if Lawrence has no extra stings to chuck on us there without actually <laughs> telling us there's something Thanks coming up. Thanks for that, Lawrence. Yeah, man, we're all ready to go and then, boom, you hit us with stings. Yeah. Don't you love it when that happens? I know, right? <laughs> and then that we'll, you, you know, come on here and uh, we'll be making funny faces we'll make neglect, or talking. Well, or, or, you know, I wouldn't have my makeup on in time and then... That would be terrible. <laughs> what would be we horrifying. do? <laughs> so, we do have another video coming up. Yes, and, and it is someone featuring a name that you actually got I right actually a couple got of weeks right, ago. Which is, you know, the only name I got right out of a host of how many names did we really have Really simple up? ones, too, yeah, like I know. Ben. It was the, it's the complicated one that I get up, that I actually yeah. get right, and it's a name like Ben that I fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> My so brother's name it? is Ben, and I still fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, who have we got? We have the British Blues, mm -hmm. and it's featuring Taryn LaFauci, who is also played two weeks ago as we said because yes. I got her name right excellent well, and let's I didn't check fuck this one up <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
quick update, my face, look at that. It's the hairiest it's been in 20 years. And if you think that's impressive, you should see my fucking crutch. When chicks pull down my pants, it's like Chewbacca jumping out of the motherfucker. It's not a beard, it just looks like pubes that I had when I was 11. What's up, cunnies? Hope you're all doing good. Um, I'm in Brooklyn, New York at the moment. Okay, so we're in Brooklyn, New York. It's about 12 o'clock at night and um, we're gonna go get some dinner and try and not get shot. No. My nigga, real talk, that shit out there is crazy. Shit's fucked? Come on. Fucking, I'm pretty much Biggie Smalls. Um, <laughs> I'm not Biggie Smalls. I'm, I'm, yeah, anyway. Seriously though, for the record, I've never felt so white in my life. An Aussie bonghead from the bush hanging in Brooklyn. That's a fucking odd sight, let me tell you. But this is what I've realized, you gotta embrace it. You've gotta embrace it. Even when it comes to grocery shopping, I'm the whitest bastard you've ever met. Tonight. <laughs> anyway, what I've learned is be who you are. Don't go acting like something else just because you're in a different part of the world. You gotta be true to yourself, otherwise you just end up looking like an out of place fuckwit. I've been here in New York for a few weeks, I've got up to some fucked up shit, and I'm pretty sure my liver now looks like a vagina after birth. <laughs> I've been hanging out with my mates, we're on tour at the moment, I'm following them around while I film my Guide to America series. The videos are going to be out really soon for you dudes. They've been teasing the fuck out of me and it's sort of fun but I'm going to bash every fucking one of them. We're at the bus. We're the bus and we have Josh Wade. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get more sparks in the cunt. I just wanted to give you guys that update to let you know I am alive and uh, <laughs> I haven't been getting laid, but fucking one day. I'll see you guys really soon with another episode. Take care and fucking suck it up. Hey, no stings this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excellent. You didn't get taken by surprise. No, no. But Josh Wade, uh, good to know he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. Alive. And not getting laid. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all alive and not getting laid? Yeah, mm. tell me about it. <laughs> yes. Speak and, uh, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not <What>? alive? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> didn't talk about getting laid. <laughs> So we have a new friend. Oh, we have something coming up Oh, here. Death's little sister likes my page. Oh, thank you. Hey, you've got oh. another fan. Yay. <laughs> That's like, I, I need to get, I, I wanted to get 500 before my birthday. Let's just make ghost accounts and just yeah, like. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, Paul, how are we? Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, shy one. <laughs> um, you, you have a very in, in, interesting instrument here today. What is that? Yeah, it's a bamboo instrument. It's called can. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, it's got little metal reeds in the pipes, just in this section here, mm -hmm. and uh, you cover the finger holes, and you get a sound out of it. And it's from northeast Thailand and Laos. And how did you discover that? Uh, years ago, in my early twenties, when I was in Thailand, mm -hmm. I um, a Thai friend of mine put me onto it. Went to a market, bought one, took took a couple home with me back to Australia, and had them sitting in my house for ages, and didn't do much for years, and then picked it up and thought, oh, I want to learn how to play this properly. So I went back to Thailand, lived there a year and a half and learnt some folk music years oh ago. Wow. And uh, yeah, I just do my own thing on it now and incorporate a bit of their sound too. It, so. It's probably a lot cheaper than some other instruments, I guess, being from... Well, actually, yeah. I mean, this is a professionally made instrument. Mm -hmm. Over there, handcrafted. Um, professional musicians play it. You pay about uh, 100 bucks for that. Yeah. Which is actually really That's decent, cheap. yeah. <laughs> Considering you pay 20 bucks for the, to pretend all the, <laughs> um, the not so good ones over there. Yeah. So. Fantastic. It's, it's a very, I, I don't know, it's, it kind of looks like, it reminds me of pan flutes. 
Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what people often think. They look at it and they go, oh, the pan pipes. And then you hold it up to your mouth and most people go, oh, it, it's so different. It's not. But some people go, oh, it's still the pan pipes. <laughs> 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 looks nothing like it. Yeah, wh- wh- oh, what is that? Where'd you get that picture? Off my Facebook. That's yeah, actually, I, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what they call it properly. Um, I, I put, that was in Belgium, in, in Bruges. It's a, a in violin winter. crossed with something. Yeah, the guy wanted like 500 euro for it. He wanted wow. to sell it to me. He was a busker. And yeah. it, it's got like some kind of um, resonator on it. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool actually. Yeah, it made a good sound. I liked it, yeah. but I wasn't going to pay 500 euro <laughs> no. for it. No. So it sounds like you've been all over. Have you like incorporated different parts of, you know, different music from different places into what you play? Like have you just different themes and different styles? Or? Oh, here and there. I, I'm, I mainly focus on, on the can and northeast Thai music. Um, when I play, I, I I, I like that kind of sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's influenced my writing as well. Um, I, I muck around with other things. I can get my hands on like f- thumb pianos and bits and pieces and I've got all kinds of stuff sitting around. But it's mainly the can that I've been coming back to. Yeah. So you're writing, do you mostly do originals or do you... Do you yeah, yeah, I mean, I've done gigs, you know, cover gigs around, around the place on and off for years. But um, yeah, I, I'm wanting to get more into my originals and putting them out there. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, are you recording anything soon? Yeah, I, I'm in the middle of recording at the moment, mm-hmm. and hopefully by the end of the year we'll have something finished, and then early next year I'll look at releasing it yep. uh, in Townsville here, and then travel around hopefully in, in May next year. Great. Around uh, North Queensland and do my stuff. And Excellent. Yeah. And uh, we can check you out on Friday at Tempest? Yes, definitely. I'll and be there, play a few other things. And Fantastic. And uh, what are you going to play for us tonight? I'm going to play one of my songs. It's called Listen. Mm-hmm. And uh, the words are pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> and, okay. and, um, and I thought I'd use this. So it's a, it'll be a bit a cappella, and actually I, I've got an egg sh- shaker right there. And um, if I feel something like inspired, I might just get you to pass me my egg. Okay. If you don't mind. <laughs> okay. First time anyone said that, but take pass it away. <laughs> it's better than saying anything else. Hey, or something else. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. So hard to listen when your radio is not turned on. When we I don't know the stories of the journeys we're traveling on. Well, it's all a sure misunderstanding when you're keeping out of other people's shoes. When we I don't know the reason for the stupid things we do. Well, it's so hard to listen when your ears are not tuned in to the lives and the stories, to the places the spirits have been. Well, I sure mind your miscommunication, and I really think that you should mind, mind but if I don't try to understand you, I'm sure as hell wasting time. Oh, listen, listen, well, shut up and listen. Wouldn't it be better if I'd take my own and pass and simply listen, listen, well, shut up and listen. Now I know the reason why I get myself in strife. Thanks. <laughs> And I point the finger and I'm snapping my fingers at you. <laughs> How rude of me. We're so I quick stand and point the finger at the things that others have done. But uh, do we ever stop and wonder? Well, why we're gone? Look, you're making me forget my words. Why they are gone the way they've gone. 
people, I may be, you think you're better. Well, I thought I was better than you too. Let's just lay our cards on the table. Admit we've got no clue. Well, I sure mind your miscommunication. And I really think that you should mind mine. Well, if I don't try to understand you, I'm sure as hell wasting time. Well, listen, listen. And shut up and listen. Well, the world is a little bit better if I take my own advice and some, hey, listen, listen. Well, shut up and listen. Now I know the reason. Thanks. Why well, I get myself in strife. Feel free to clap along if you want. Three, four. You're holding microphones, and I wonder you can't clap. <laughs> You gotta clap in time, Lawrence. Oh, that's good, off be clapping. Hey! That was fantastic. That was probably the best uh, that was live very performance unique and, we've yeah. had in here. <laughs> and Jade now has any profession of egg passer. <laughs> I know that. I Put that in your resume, attention. professional egg passer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going on the resume, but uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's actually something for, you know, Bob's special little tape there. Yeah. yeah? Egg handler. <laughs> oh, oh, no, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Paul, you'll be playing at 10 past 7 Friday night yep. with Al Bolton Bed. Uh, beforehand, yeah, yeah, yeah so definitely. get there early so we can see that again. Definitely, that not bringing some other bits and pieces. Absolutely amazing. In getting everyone, all those lazy fuckers back there. And look, Bob Paul's on Facebook clap. too. <laughs> hey, oh, I got my Facebook up. up. I know. Lawrence has been stalking everyone tonight, Dude. so we can all go and like Paul's. I've got to change that picture, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I take photos, you know. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, now thank you very much for coming in, Paul. We Thanks will see you on Friday night, and we've got another video. We do. Do you remember what it is? I know there's a butcher. It's Brad butcher. butcher. Brad Butcher. Brad Butcher. Brad Butcher. See, it's the easy See, names I fuck ago, up. See, two minutes ago, he was like, is it Bruce or Bob Butcher? And I'm like, no, it's Brad. See, the easy names I fuck up. Give me hard names from now on, and I'll get it like that. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to check this out. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have a look. Let's do it. Mm. Whisper carried on the wind Floats until it reaches someone listening Someone free to feel the breeze The legend ever grows while the truth is perceived And no one feels it change your hat's blown off and the sea starts to rage And it feels cold upon your skin So you cover up your ears and shelter from the wind Who am I when the old man's gone? Burn the ashes and send them home who am I when the old man's gone? And where will I call home? The winter winds will carry on Trees creak and moan Their leaves brown, then they're gone We watch them fall and float away 
Their mark on the tree no one can replace Who am I when the old man's gone? Burn the ashes and send them home Who am I when the old man's gone? And where will I call home? So Zach, was that uh, was that Bob Butcher or Bruce Butcher? Yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> that was Brad Butcher. Brad Butcher. Yes. There we go. Yes. See, see, I can just rely on you from now for now on. I know. At least I can see. <laughs> what are you? What are you saying there? And, and speaking of seeing, now I, I have to show everyone at home. This is what we have to look at every every week, right? <clears throat> and for a special presentation, this yeah. is what it's like to what be can me. You see? <laughs> so uh, thank you to everyone for being here behind the light there, Leo with the camera. You can stop that now. That's my job. So thank you to all these people Get for a big being one here. Big Lawrence. Get Lawrence. Yes, <laughs> yes. Marco's over there. He's hiding behind the light. Hi, Marco. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So we've got some events coming up. It's a very busy few weeks. Uh, we've got Isabel Reynard with Cheeky Goose debut EP launch or debut if I was Jessica Mowboy at the Arias. <laughs> uh, Saturday 25th of October. Uh, Realm City, they're releasing an EP soon and uh, they'll be supporting Crossroads at uh, the Courthouse Theatre on the 25th as well. It's getting busy. Uh, Tempest, of course, this weekend, Al Walton Band and Paul, who we just saw. Uh, the Paint Off, which is our friend Smizzler, which is uh, Garth. Ah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and uh, fa uh, so Vitalis. Okay, someone. Uh, there's a paint off, anyway. So it's Bun Monkey live at the Vic on Hall Halloween party. Oh, it's nearly that, Halloween. Yeah. 31st of October. Jeez. Is that the matter at the Master? <laughs> Massacre at the Mad Cow? Is that on as well? Probably. Yeah. Pandy and Fred's October 19th at 2 p.m. And uh, that's actually my stepdad's birthday as well. Yep. Um, JD and the Express, they're live at the Vic Part on, on the 17th of October. That's this weekend from 8.30. So that's pretty huge. That is. And that's of course, massive. Ezekiel Ox on the 24th. And my birthday on the 27th. You just Excellent. had to throw that one out. I just threw you? that in there. Yeah, yeah. of course you yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. Everyone can send presents. So you don't give a crap about any events. It's just all the things you're doing on the week of your birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks to everyone, back of house staff and every, all the producers and cameramen and floor staff and, and photographers. And, and our wonderful guests. Yes. Everyone out there watching. Everyone for being here. The and one uh, person who watches us. <laughs> <laughs> your sister. That's the one. And uh, yeah, we'll, we've only got three more shows left for the year. So, three more um, shows. Yeah. Shit, it's fucking October already, isn't I it? 
I know, right? Where did that just go? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we're going to leave you with a video tonight. What we have we do. got? So, we have an interview with Mary Ranshaw, mm-hmm. who actually did the, the uh, fashion festival, which oh, okay. is the, which, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Thrifty Lux. Yes. Yeah, she was the director for it. So, Excellent. big thank you to you. And we have the interview done by Todd Barty. From who, who is he? From? He's from Art Gaze? Control, isn't he? Oh, Art Gaze. Art Gaze. Yes, Art yeah. Gaze. I got that wrong. He's from Art Gaze. <laughs> there you go. So many people from so many different things and names <sighs> that I fuck up. You so. just know everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and right. uh, we've also got uh, some footage from the Fashion Festival, oh, which fashion was, festival. or the Fashion Parade, which was uh, filmed by Lior. So. Fantastic. So, Excellent. we'll see you in two weeks for show number 15. Oh, We're God. Still on the air. Wow. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Well, I'm Todd Barty from Art Gaze Magazine and Full Throttle Theatre Company here, and uh, I'd like to introduce Mary Renshaw. Uh, welcome to Townsville, Thank Mary. You. And welcome to Spaceville. Uh, Thank you. They're almost synonymous. Spaceville's the most <laughs> widely, uh, widely viewed web program in Townsville, and uh, so people associate one with the other. Yes. Uh, I would like to introduce what you do. Uh, you're a vintage fashionista, fashion guru, yes. doyen, uh, but you're probably the best to describe what you do in fashion, so uh, would you like to let us know a little bit about that? Well, do you want me to start at the beginning? Start or at the beginning. I, okay. uh, a very good place to start. Right. This, okay, how I started off um, as an 18-year-old. Um, mm-hmm. Let's go back to high school. I spent most of my time in high school drawing fashion through maths class. So you've only been doing this for a couple of months then. <laughs> you've only been doing this for a couple of months then. Yeah. 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 So that's what I, it was mm. always a big passion of mine. And um, when I left school, I found myself a job in probably one of the biggest fashion houses in Melbourne mm-hmm. called Norma Tallo. And from Norm, at Norma Tallo, I was sending sketches up to the design room. I was in the basement packing the clothes mm-hmm. and the, the girls up the top were, mm-hmm. um, I just like envied them so much working for Norma and being right up there with all those beautiful clothes, beautiful fabrics. Norma Tallow was a really um, upmarket fashion brand. Mm -hmm. So as a 17 year old working in the packing area, when we had the big sales, us girls used to be able to buy all this amazing clothing really cheaply. So we were dressed up to the nines in these really wonderful clothes. And, and from there I went to Kenneth Perry. Mm. Um, they actually, as I was 18 years old, I went for an office job. They knew I worked at Tallow's. I said I was sending sketches up to Norma and they hired me on the spot. After Kenneth Perry, I actually went to work for a place called The In Shop where I designed all their knitwear, did buying for them. They were a really groovy, cool mm-hmm. sort of shop. And probably after working there for a fair few years, I opened up my own place in mm. Greville Street in Paran. Mm-hmm. where I sold to, lot, to lots of musicians, lots of um, people like Barry Humphreys, mm-hmm. different people would come into Greville Street. It was a very cool street. Yes. So, yeah. Now, one name has just been dropped already, yes. but uh, friends of yours and Little Birds um, yes. tell me that there are quite, quite a few names that well, yeah. you could drop. Um, who are some well, of the interesting people Well, we probably all the boys from Split Ends used to come in. The, ba- the models all had jumpers that I'd made for them. Bob Starkey from Skyhooks. Mm-hmm. Um, the Pointer Sisters, I closed yeah, the shop sure. up for the girls so that they could just try whatever they wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, and as I said, Barry Humphreys bought a beautiful bright yellow knitted jumper. Yes. And Jean Simmons actually bought something for Dana Ross. Oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and Bon Scott, of course. I used to dress those boys probably oh, earlier in the in-shop days. I used mm-hmm. to dress Bon. Excellent. In lots of snakeskin and <laughs> cool stuff like that. So from uh, those earlier days, what are you currently interested in in terms of fashion? What I'm doing nowadays is I'm helping my son with his fashion label, Moondog. Oh, so it's sort of... We buy vintage shorts and redress them again mm-hmm. and, you know, buy vintage dresses, get them mm-hmm. um, restyled, mm-hmm. just so we're basically doing that sort of stuff and we're selling them through markets mm-hmm. and um, we'll probably start doing it online too. Yes. We just actually want to get a good amount of stock and have some, you know, really cool things going before we start doing the online thing. Now, you've got quite a collection of... Uh quite interesting vintage clothing yourself and um, 
You're also up here to do Thrifty Lux, which is a vintage fashion event that's taking place at the old Courthouse Theatre. And just off camera there, there are racks full of amazing, gorgeous, very interesting things. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what uh, you're doing here in Townsville at the moment? Well, Jeanette's Jeanette asked me to come up because I do a few different fashion parades. I really mm. love doing it. I mm. like finding the clothes. I like getting the girls. I like finding the clothes to fit onto the girls, mm -hmm. you know, because everyone's different sizes and just to make it like a really interesting evening for mm -hmm. the people that are watching the parade and the girls that are trying the clothes on and, yep. you know, it's just, uh, and I love fashion so much. Yes. It's just, and for me to still be in fashion is a fantastic thing. Now, I'm looking for a few more name drops. There's going to be <laughs> a, uh, there are a few, um, quite distinctive pieces in your collection that you'll be yes. showing here today. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about some well, of those? Well, I've got Gaultier, which I found in an op shop for $15. Oh, you wow. know, I, Even though people think Melbourne still is not it all gone, it's still there. You just yes. need to go every day yes. <laughs> and look, or if you have, just keep looking. So I've got the Gaultier, I've got Diane von Furstenberg, I've got um, Camilla, I've got... Um, I can't remember what else I've got there. Oh, yes. Vivian Westwood, oh, yes. who I love. That's the name know? I was looking for being dropped, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excellent. So, you've just got to keep looking, as I said, you can always get a really good bargain. Oh, excellent. Well, that's good advice. Um, yes. Uh, and um, looking towards the future, what yeah. uh, irons have you got on fire at the moment? What are you eager to do well, in doing, times ahead? Yeah, doing the um, my son's label. Mm. I'm about to start... With a couple of friends of mine, we've just been asked to do write a. We have ghostwriters, of course, to do a book on Bon Scott, oh, who I've known since I was 18 when he was in the original band, the Valentines, and stayed close to him right up until basically before he passed away. Yes. So he was staying at my shop in Greville Street. Yes. So that's what we're doing very mm -hmm. soon, and that should be out next yes. year. Oh, that's exciting. Well, we'll keep a lookout for that. Yeah. And we're most excited that you've been able to come up here to share some of your I'm wisdom to be here. <laughs> with us and uh, I am. bring some fashionista <laughs> flair to town's Yeah, role. it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun night. Yes, excellent. Thank you very much, Thank Mary you. Renshaw. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs>